2018 Regional Women's Institute on Leadership and Disability, Colombo, Sri Lanka, May 23rd through 30th, 2018. 15 Women Leaders with Disabilities. From China, India, Nepal, and Sri Lanka, Wild Asia. I'm Manik Gunaratta from Sri Lanka for the wild, first Wild Asia Regional Training 2018. My role was the National Coordinator. This was a like, good opportunity for women with disabilities in Asia to uh, showcase their leadership role and to be empowered. Culturally, women in this region have been very marginalized and oppressed stay hidden at home by their family. But what I've seen throughout this program is the women growing confident to be able to pursue work and to come to the forefront. The atmosphere, the experience, it was, everything was new to them. The most powerful experience that I had was the self-defense training because we don't get this kind of training in India. And also the sessions of reproductive health because we, as women and girls with disabilities, are so suppressed that we're not allowed to even talk about these things. So such an open discussion with resource persons and with you all as sisters was really powerful. And Education, economic empowerment, reproductive health, gender-based violence prevention, political participation. These important topics were covered at WILD not only amongst the delegates, but with leaders from development and women's funding organizations. Discussions ensured that, from emergency response to peace building, disabled women were at the table. Action plans were developed, solidifying enhanced networks for change. The most beauty of the WILD program is the inclusiveness. I found interconnect with each, each of the disability group. I mean, like there is deaf, blind, and then physical, intellectual, or mental, or psychosocial problems, so we are cooperating each other. We had uh, in training materials in accessible formats, and we have interpreters, sign language interpreters, deaf interpreters, hearing in interpreters. The facilitators, they are themselves are as a person with disability or woman with disability. That's another beauty of this WILD program. And they are very powerful, they are very energetic, so that we also became a more powerful, so that we build our confidence, so that we can go back to our country, and we can also have same type of training. I plan to do my WILD training in uh, reproductive health and um, some swimming, where, I mean, an accessible kind of swimming, which I I never thought of before. You I will bring the wild values and the wild strategies back to China, and we were having some workshops and activities. And I feel that the women in here, we are all friends, we are sisters, and I feel that I'm not lonely. I'm hoping that we can have a WILD program in another country in the future. I see the power of WILD and hopefully we'll be able to partner with other countries, maybe Africa, Latin America, so we can reach more women, more deaf women, more women with disabilities and have their empowerment grow and the network of disabled women continue to grow throughout the countries. Women with disabilities play a one and the WILD is play a one. WILD is building the pipeline of disabled women leaders and infiltrating the women's and human rights movements. Join us in revolutionizing the status of women with disabilities globally through local, regional, and international WILD trainings. The Regional WILD Asia program was implemented by Mobility International USA in partnership with the Employers Federation of Ceylon. Sign language interpretation was generously sponsored by Sprint Accessibility and Milnek International. Funding for this project was provided by Channel Foundation and donations to Mayusa's Women's Leadership Fund, www.miusa.org.